Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some items that I purchased on a recent shopping trip. Actually, it was a couple of shopping trips. So, there are so many beautiful decorator items out in the stores right now and I was not going to like really indulge in anything like big, but I could not help but to gravitate towards um, a lot of the pastels and all these florals. You guys know how I love florals. And so all these beautiful colors are really jumping out at me, especially since I'm decorating an area in the second guest bedroom. So I'm going to share with you some items that I purchased um, from several of our favorite stores um, like Pier 1, Hobby Lobby, um, Bed Bath & Beyond, and I think I have some more things in there, but I'll just show you. So the first place that I'm going to share with you that I visited was Hobby Lobby. Now Hobby Lobby, as you guys know, they've been getting rid of a lot of things and they always have their 50% off sales throughout the store. But well, the day that I went, I was actually looking to um, in there to purchase boxes for my giveaways that will be coming up. Speaking of the giveaways, guys, we only have like 200, I think like 290, um, we're 290 subscribers away from my 10,000. So I am very, very excited. My goal is to hopefully reach my 10,000 goal by my birthday, April the 3rd. And um, so that you can get these items to have and entertain with for the spring. So all that being said, I was getting the boxes for the giveaways and I saw other things also. So the one thing that I saw that I could not leave the store without was this beautiful picture. Now, this picture is simply amazing, guys. It has dream here in gold, which is gold is the, one of the colors, the accent color that I'm using in this room. And it also has pink and gold here and the peachish, like an orange peach and gold. All these colors are the colors that I am using in this room. And this blue here is the same color blue of the wilds. This picture is so pretty. I had to get it. And I love the 3D effect of the word jumping off of this. And it's actually like a metal. And the regular price of this was $19.99. 50% off. So I got this for $10. You guys are going to see this soon when I reveal this area of um, this room. Now, um... I'm not going in any particular order, so I'm just going from, I'm just going to pick up whatever my hand touches. Now, I am also working on my spring tablescape, and this year is going to be a little different. I think I say that every year that it's going to be a little different, and that's because I like to switch things up. I like to mix old and new, and I, I'm always thinking of different ways I can enhance the area without spending a lot of money. So, um, one thing that I needed for this area, um, for this year's tablescape was some hyacinth, um, placemats. And I thought the placemats that I already had were actually hyacinth, but they weren't. They are actually like jute. And, um, but for some reason I'm thinking they were hyacinth. So when I went to, um, Bed Bath & Beyond, I looked for the hyacinth placemats and they only had three. And um, so I got the three because I needed four. And the regular price of these were $4.99 here. And this is what they look like. But they were on sale for $3.99. Now the great things about this is that you can use this during any types of the year. These can go, make, go from a formal table setting to a very casual table setting. Or something like a barbecue or a... Um, a crab boil would be really great to use these on, um, during any type of those types of events. But, and you can use these inside and outside. Or if you have a covered porch, they would be great on those. So, what I did I, was I purchased 
three of these, the three that they had in the store. And if you order from in the store, they'll ship it to your home and it is free. So I am waiting for my last one to come that will complete my place setting. And then on the ends, I am using the jute table um, placemats. And um, I put it down just to kind of see how it looks, and it looks really, really nice. So you will see my place, um, my tablescape coming up um, next week, just in time for spring. Now, speaking of spring here, I am going to, with all of the beautiful florals out there, I wanted to make sure that I um, not only had like florals outside with my rose bushes and my pot potted flowers I also wanted to have more florals inside mixed with some greenery so I actually was out and about and I went to um, Hobby Lobby to look at their florals and they had a lot of really nice florals but they were not on sale that week and I also went to Michael's. Michael's had florals also. And you know they have beautiful flowers. But they were 40% off. And even with that I still for the amount that I wanted. Was going to cost me a pretty penny. So I go to Pier 1. Because I was actually looking for napkins for my tablescape. And the napkins that they had in my mind would have worked. But when I looked at them actually in the store they would not work so of course I browsed around the store well guys looking around the store trying to see what they may have and let me show you what I came across the first thing I came across were these beautiful hydrangeas guys hobby um pier one has some beautiful florals and they are generally kind of pricey the regular price of these were what was it six dollars and ninety five cents so if you go into pier one and you don't have a coupon and well they don't have coupons unless you get some type your cash back or something then you're going to pay seven dollars for this these were on sale and they're actually on clearance right now guys so if you need some hydrangeas um, go to Pier 1 for $3.48. 3 dollars 48 So I purchased, I left some for somebody else, believe me. But I purchased six of them. Three, four, five. I have another one somewhere else. Right here. I purchased six of them. And what I like about these is, is, is that they are the pink and the green. And, um, and I think that the green brings a lot of the naturalness in there. But the pink is so feminine. So you are going to see these. And the stems are long. So you're definitely going to see these coming up very, very soon. So if you need some florals and at a good price, head to your Pier 1. And they are... And, and, and I end up going to two pier, different pier ones and both of them there where all their florals are. So they're just stuck in there. They're no, not in no specific section. So make sure if that's what you're looking for that you go where all of the florals are. And at another pier one, the second pier one that I went to, they also had these beautiful peonies. These things are absolutely gorgeous they are gorgeous they're really breathtaking they're made very very well and they look very real and guys i purchased three of these and the these are the, were the same price they're regularly 6.95 and they were on clearance for 3.48 purchased those also and then i went to home goods and um, really didn't see anything at Homeless this um, this time around. And which was fine because there was nothing in particular that I wanted. I just wanted to see what new they had in there. And the one thing that um, stood out at me was this adorable little um, tin can here. 
and I love the scallop edges here with the top and I love the front here that says dryer sheets and so I have just that I need to get some more dryer sheets but this is where the dryer sheets will go and you guys know this is the color that I am actually using in my um, laundry closet and um, it is so pretty and the price of this was only $3.99 hey babe I'm recording because you, yeah, you got the leftovers so, um, let's see. I also, speaking of florals, also from Pier 1, because this week, if you go to your Pier 1, and I think it's until the 17th of this month, they have all their napkins, napkin holders, placemats on sale for 20% off. And so, I purchased some more napkin rings. You guys know I did not need any more napkin ring, but once I did not have, um, you know, I like really ornate kind of um, napkin rings, and I needed something that was a little more simple. And so I purchased six of these. I'm only showing you two here, and the price of these were $2.95 regularly, plus I got 20% off of each. Excuse me. So that wasn't... Um, a bad deal any um, at all so that was probably about 60 cents off of each one of these and that was a really great deal so if you need napkins for your um, Easter dinner your Easter tablescape placemats anything regarding related to setting a table um, it's on sale this week at Pier 1 so head on there now the last thing that I purchased from Pier 1 is another sign and once again I could not get past these colors now this sign here is another one and it has the love here on the outside 3d and this is kind of um it looks kind of rustic and I love the flowers the fuchsias and the golds and it's a little bit like a gold copper here and then on the sides is even painted this goldish copper and it is really really pretty now guys the price of this regularly was let's see what it was it was $14.95 but I got it for three dollars and 98 cents three dollars and 48 cents not sure if you can see that 348 for this little um sign here and it is absolutely beautiful it is so pretty so you will see this very very soon in this area now you you might be like whiny you have a huge bouquet of flowers here and I do I bought all of these flowers here and I some they are still down there and th these are perfectly fine for one area that I'm working on but I went to Michaels and Michaels had a fantastic sale this past weekend and I just went in there because I still wanted a couple of more um, flowers to make. I want to work on a wreath. I want to work on just having some flowers in different areas. I'm going to be doing a DIY that I'm going to share with you guys that is um, I'm dealing with um, an arrangement. So, but I know I want flowers um, in different areas of my home. This, Michaels helped me out a lot with this. And it is so simple and it's really cute now these are the flowers that came in here and these flowers michaels has outdone themselves because they actually feel like real flowers this little arrangement here and it has the water the imitation water at the bottom and it just sits what well, is supposed to go into the little thing there i see there it goes and so it sits like this in this little um, little bottle here so cute really cute for a desk 
It can be great. You can have it up in your window. If you have a window overlooking the backyard or something by the sink. Really cute. Now this was 50% off. And the regular price was $12.99. So I got this for like $6.49. Really great deal. Love the colors once again. Michaels came through for that one. Also at Michaels. Um, yesterday. They had these flowers here and they were 50% off also the regular price of these were $3.99 you're gonna see me do a really cute DIY um, with these but these are absolutely gorgeous and so they were 50% off of $3.99 so um, about two dollars a piece not bad not bad out and these um, stems are fairly full and the flowers are very pretty I love the colors of them yes so you will see these we're gonna do a DIY later um, next week you're gonna see these stay tuned and lastly um, I just bought some floral foam for our DIY and I bought this bouquet right here now guys we are going to do a very quick and easy DIY with this. What I love, and I've shared this with you guys before, I love to find arrangements that are already together like bouquets like this. This is a real easy way for you to decorate um, a, a spruce upper space. And if you don't have a lot of time, you know, you can get one of these and these will be great in a wreath. They'll be great, great in various places. So we're going to see how I'm going to bring take this up a notch and use this this year in my spring decorator now this has all different types of flowers we have some pink hydrangeas here we have I think there's some that's a green um, peony I'm not sure what this one is but we have ferns in here and I love the leaves and I just shaped this like this and I love how um, I shaped it but this is so cute and the price of this was regularly $9.99, but it was 50% off. So I got it for about four or five dollars. Really great deal. And um, we are going to do several DIY, floral DIYs using things that you already have in your house. And I know you have them because when I tell you what the supplies are, you're gonna be like, yeah, Wani, I have all of that. I know you do. So guys. That's it. Those are all of the amazing items that I purchased. Remember, if you're looking for florals, please head down to your Pier 1. They have an uh, amazing assortment and there could be some flowers in there that I missed because surely those two weren't the only um, flowers that were marked down. So go in. If you like to dig a little bit for your um, prizes, go ahead and dig in those bins. I know you're going to find something else. And um, always, we always um, go to Pier 1 and Hobby Lobby, but also for a lot of your um, household items, don't forget about Bed Bath & Beyond and the at-home stores. All of those stores has great things that you can use to enhance and decorate your home. And as, as a matter of fact, this week, the at-home store has the um, indoor-outdoor rug. For $29, guys, that is an amazing deal. I have been going back and forth to ask if I'm going to try to decide if I'm going to get it or not. And don't know. Have not decided. But I need to um, decide something because Wednesday will be here in a minute. So, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know which of the items that I share with you today were your favorite. Also, if you have any questions, leave me the questions down below also. And I will be sure to get back and um, get back with you with an answer. And lastly, if you are new to Wani's house, you know I would love for you to join me. So guys, make sure you hit that button so that you, will, you can subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that any time that I put up new content, you won't miss it. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.